What's up guys? Today I have a short bike check for you. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I usually post all my bikes there, but today I thought let's do a YouTube bike check. And this is the bike I'm gonna show you today. It's a 96, 97 ish um, basic small town hick flatland bike. Um, this is a cool bike, not only because the frame is sort of rare, but this bike also has a lot of other cool basic parts. And I'm gonna show you um, everything right now. Um, first of all, here's the frame. Um, it is still has its original paint. It's kind of a off-white color, if you will. And the frame also has all its original stickers. And it comes with the, the basic forks. These are massive forks. And it also comes with the basic stem. You can see the logo here. And this stem is clamped from the side, which makes it a bit special. You can see the stem is most likely being spray painted black at some point. Um, then we also have the basic whammy bars. And the basic Steve Roy aluminum flatland packs. You don't see these packs too often. And then, of course, I must have the iconic basic maple leaf sprocket. And last but not least, the basic free coaster hub shell. A lot of basic parts it took me a while to find all of these I also have a basic seat post, post but I decided not to use it on this bike because I decided to go with a black one that matched the color scheme a little bit better um, yeah what else we have the original heart of fusion cranks uh, these probably have been spray painted before as well. These cranks, I believe, are quite sought after among some of the old school collectors. And then the Primo four slot pedals. We have uh, the Hoffman bikes, skid mark tires on Sun BFR rims, a Susu Dragonfly hub in the front. U brakes, Diacom Tech 77 levers, and the Primo seat, which is a must have for the Flatlanders in the mid late 90s. And yeah, I also put a America sticker on it, a little tribute to the one and only Andrew Ferris, who broke this frame um, you've probably seen him ride a pink small tonic frame at the 97 worlds or at least I believe it was a small tonic frame but anyway um, yeah he he made this frame S um, somewhat famous and uh, he also had a um, signature frame later with basic before he um, went on to ride for Schwinn. Yeah, this is a cool flatland bike, quite heavy, obviously. Um, and it's also a cool piece of Canadian mid school history. Well, I hope you guys liked this bike, Jack. Let me know if you want to see more bikes from my collection. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys.